All right, what's going on? Guys, try back again here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing another Walking Dead video. In this one, we're gonna give our thoughts, break down how much Walking Dead is left. All right, dudes, and possible spoiler warning, if you are not caught up for The Walking Dead, uh, both comics and TV series, if you uh, care at this point. So, we are almost to the end of the second last part of the series. So, we have exactly 10 episodes left for The Walking Dead television series. Uh, two more from this part, uh, which is part two of season 11, and then the final eight episodes coming up after that, likely starting at the end of this summer or uh, early uh, fall. So we are almost up to the end of The Walking Dead. We are winding things down. And so I thought it would be fun to take a look at the comics and compare for comics versus show just how much content we have left to be adapted from the original Walking Dead comic book series. So here we have the last two volumes of the Walking Dead comic book series. The Walking Dead comic book series ended up with uh, 32 uh, volumes. You can see the number right there. And the final one is called Rest in Peace. So we've just seen uh, the episode that is called The Rotten Core which is uh, volume 31 right here. And basically at this point from the comic book series, uh, Rick and the others, you got Rick right here, uh, which is why I always compare him so closely to Aaron uh, in the TV series and just the way he looks right now after Andrew Lincoln's leave. Um, Aaron looks a lot like Rick currently at this time. So, um, so what we have, so we have the Rotten Core having just aired we got to see in the TV series version with Carlson, Lance, Pamela, the stuff that they're kind of uh, into. Um, you know, some of the darker, uh, more negative aspects. We've seen Leah just uh, appear in uh, at the end of episode, uh, let's see, 14. Uh, and so uh, we know that she's involved, uh, that we're taking the weapons and, and whatnot. Now, to compare that to the uh, TV series version, um, you know, to compare this, that version from the TV series to the comics, um, quite a bit different. You can see on the cover here that we've got Mercer in the orange gear right here. And with the Rotten Core in the comic book uh, version, we kind of have chaos break out inside of the Commonwealth. So we have not yet seen that adapted for the TV series. We have not seen um, you know, uh, actual uh, chaos, actual maybe uh, fights in the streets, fighting in the streets, possibly explosions, fires, things like that in uh, the TV series version yet. So we're not quite to that point. Uh, here's a page, for example, from the comics after Michonne gets kind of messed up and she's kind of a lawyer in the comic book version. Yumiko is sort of taking that role for the TV series, so we haven't really seen anything adapted as far as that's concerned. But here's Mercer in the street, and there's uh, chaos you know, all over the place. Lots of Commonwealth soldiers and whatnot, lots of crazy things going on, and a uh, big-time standoff between Rick's group and uh, Pamela. Here's Pamela returning and seeing the place ablaze, and she says, holy F, right there. And uh, so, so we do still have a lot of this left to still be uh, adapted for the TV series because we really haven't seen anything major happen yet inside of the Commonwealth itself. We've seen Carlson at the apartment building. We've seen Lance kind of send him out and communicate with him. We've seen Carol deal with Lance a little bit. Um, we've seen Sebastian and how kind of crazy Sebastian can be. But we haven't seen anything uh, too nuts as far as um, the rotten core, as far as like everything just going crazy. I'm wondering almost if like that group of walkers that um, Daryl and Rosita, Mercer and Carol ended up having to go through with the house. I'm wondering if maybe they somehow will get out and you know find their way uh, inside the Commonwealth or close or in and around the Commonwealth. So that's kind of something I'm looking to kind of see for this mid-season finale uh, or part two finale for The Walking Dead season 11 is are we going to see um, with the Rotten Core uh, storyline from the comics, are we going to see 
kind of a breakdown inside the Commonwealth and just all kinds of chaos erupt and people taking sides between maybe Mercer leading on one hand and, um, you know, in a line with Daryl and in line with all the others, the TV series version of those characters, uh, similarly with the comic. And then are we going to see Lance and Pamela, you know, on the other side of that? So are we going to see this kind of build up here? I think that's probably where we'll go. And then the final part for the Walking Dead TV series, the final eight episodes, which will be in part three, will likely be adapting the Rest in Peace uh, uh, storyline here. Uh, you have Rick on the, uh, on the cover there. And uh, some huge uh, character deaths in this extended um, in this extended volume here that we uh, are, are likely looking to see in the TV series. Uh, you guys can leave your predictions below, but in the comic book series version, this is where we see Rick's demise. Uh, obviously, that's not going to happen in the TV series. Could it be Aaron who gets that death instead? Could it be Sebastian similarly killing him in the TV series? Could we even see Sebastian, you know, kill somebody like Daryl or something like that? Um, even though there are some, um, there are some announcements as far as uh, like the spinoff series and whatnot goes. So they've announced some of those. Could some of those be false announcements? Could they be, you know, it is kind of strange that they're doing an Isle of the Dead with Maggie and Negan, and then they're also doing the Daryl Carroll spinoff. So, but is it possible maybe they're doing that to throw us off and then they'll surprise us with like a big death at the end like Daryl or somebody like that. Uh, we have seen a little bit of a buildup between Daryl and Sebastian in the TV series version already. Uh, a little bit of rivalry going there. Um, but man, I would really hate to see Daryl be killed off at the end of the Walking Dead TV series. Although, you know, it could make sense considering the series is ending. So if they did something like that, Okay, kind of. I guess it would kind of make sense as like one final big death for the TV series. Like Daryl's killed off, and the series ends, and Norman Reedus announces that he's, you know, finished with Walking Dead. That kind of thing. Um, really would not want to see that happen. But there are some pretty major character deaths in this. In that the comic book version, Rick was killed off at the end of this, right? So that's as big as you could possibly get. And we and he's not there for the TV series. So could they do a big one for someone like uh, like Daryl instead or something? Um, or will it be uh, Gabriel, maybe Rosita, somebody like that instead? So um, lots of stuff kind of uh, uh, breaking down. So here's what I'm thinking kind of Walking Dead TV series will end off at. We'll see the stuff with Leah continue. We have the 10 episodes left coming up. Maggie's coming up to take on a bigger role. We'll see some tensions build between Daryl, Maggie, and, and what's going what's going to be happening in the next episode. And, man, I just don't know what they'll do to adapt some of these major character deaths from the comics from um, Rest in Peace because, you know, the equivalent of TV series would be huge. So I hope they don't go that route. I hope that AMC's kind of maybe smarter than that and keeps, you know, a lot of those big names still alive so that if they want to do a spinoff series, different ideas, they have that option um, but you, you never know. They may want to go uh, similar to like the comic and have like a Rick level uh, character death at the very end of The Walking Dead just to kind of finish it off and have it feel like, um, you know, I don't know, uh, a serious ending in some kind of way. So you guys can leave your uh, predictions below. How do you see this whole thing ending off? I'm thinking Leo will probably take up a few episodes. A lot of the tension building at the Commonwealth will take up some episodes, some big fighting near the end. And then maybe to wrap things off, one of those pretty big character deaths. And then eventually Pamela, uh, Lance, maybe some of the others stepping down, being defeated. And then a new leader of the Commonwealth, maybe like Maggie or, um, you know, I don't know, somebody else there who could be uh, in place instead of them. And kind of the series will sort of end off because they'll kind of enter into maybe like a, a peace time or something like that. Maybe Aaron, if he's not killed off, could be the leader of Commonwealth after. Uh, I guess we'll have to see. Or Carol or somebody like that could be. So uh, that's pretty much what we got left to be adapted. A couple of big character deaths likely in the last part. Um, you know, and uh, the Commonwealth transition of kind of finishing to where uh, our survivors uh, join into the Commonwealth. And then, you know, Lance and Pamela are, are shown to not be as good for the Commonwealth as they are. Uh, Mercer supporting and some Daryl, the others uh, kind of taking over the Commonwealth or something like that. So, um, you know, if I had to pick, I'd prefer 
Aaron be killed off and then Daryl kind of leave the Commonwealth uh, after uh, or something like, like that. Although I guess it could be the other way around too. So leave the comments below and let me know what you guys think for wrap up of the Walking Dead television series compared to the comics. That's the amount of content that we have left to be adapted. So leave your comments below. Let me know who you think it's going to be. That's it for this video uh, today, guys. Uh, thumb it up below, share, and favorite, uh, as well as subscribe at the bottom. I'll see you again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace later, guys. See you soon.